just thinking, oh my God, this is like Bonnie and Clyde. Oh my God. <laughs> it's us against the cops. <laughs> Tulipelekwa Dani. Sees. Dani. Dani, Dani, Dani. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. First of all, let me just say a big big thank you to everybody who has subscribed. We hit a thousand subscribers in under a week. Guys, I was just so overwhelmed. I had been so scared of moving from moving content from Instagram to YouTube um because I was just like, I don't know, what if this flops? I don't know, I don't know. But you guys have been so supportive. You've been watching my video. Who oh, was about to say videos? Lucky in emoji too. So you're not too red to the party. You've arrived right on time. So I want to encourage you to please like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification, join the notification squad so that each time I post a video, you'll be in the no. Wow, this is so much clearer. <laughs> okay, guys, without further ado, today's video is a story time. And as the title suggests, I spent six nights in a cell and then I went to court. Milimani law courts to be exact. So let me start this story from the beginning just so that... Eh... Uh, and please do not look at me differently. So the year is, I think the year is 2012 because I was 17 years old. I was coming out of high school. I was young. I was experimenting with drugs, you know, trying to party with friends and moving out and stuff like that. I was jumping the fence, you guys, when my parents refused me to go for um, a party or whatever. And I was liking the boys. This was before I got into a long, eh, it's about to say wrong term. This was before I got into a long term relationship, a six year relationship. So before that, I was just liking, liking the little boys, liking, liking them very much. <laughs> so I was with this particular young fellow. Um, and it was a regular weekend. We decided that we were going to go out. We decided that we were going to party and stuff like that. So we started drinking. We drank. I can't remember where we were. But we drank and then we went back to his place. Now this guy used to live in the compound of a university. So, um, I will not say which university it is, but his parents were lecturers. And so... Um, he lived in that university at night you guys we decided that we were going to perambulate We were going to move around a cuckoo and a curfew or anything So we were just free movement free movement free movement and I think in that moving around when we were Like drunk and just causing havoc and moving around and blah, 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 blah. The watchmen thought that we were thieves, so they called the cops on us now um we were like i feel like when you're dr first of all when i think back to stories like this i'm just like stupid 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 girl oh my gosh like oh anyway so they called the cops on us and the cops came at that time at night but we were very like you know how alcohol like makes you just not think like you just don't think you just yeah 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 Anyway, so the cops arrive and they search us. So they search the guy first and then they search me. Now, not only were we drinking, but we were smoking weed. Um, and so this guy was caught with weed in his bag, in his pockets, and I was caught with weed in my bag. Um, in that moment, we were just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First of all, me, I was there, young, dumb, and broke. Young, dumb, and broke. Just thinking, oh my god, this is like Bonnie and Clyde. Oh my god. <laughs> it's us against the cops. Tulipelekwa <laughs> Dani. Sees. Dani. Dani, Dani, Dani. And um, it was the police station. I was just about to say the name, but I've just thought, let me not say it. But we were in the police station, you guys. And 
still that night like i mean i was just finding it fun i was drunk i was finding it funny him he was finding it funny we we're just like you know we're in this together you know you know i got you i got your bag boo i got your bag <laughs> You know, these are the lessons in life we learn from these are the lessons and then you don't repeat these lessons okay once you learn from the lesson don't repeat the lesson this is so that i share with you so that you know when you want to do drugs hey anyway so we sleep in the first night and i forgot to mention that this guy was not a kenyan well he was a kenyan citizen but he he was from the states so no wait was he a kenyan citizen no, I think he was an American citizen. He was an American citizen, but he had been given leeway um, to be able to stay in Kenya um, under some sort of visa, I think. And his parents were working here. So yeah, he was given the liberty to stay here. Oh. So the next day we wake up, hey, now reality starts to hit. Oh, it's a concrete place. You know, four walls, no bed, no mattress, no nothing. It's just me. And the cement walls then I'm starting to read the walls people have written it's over it's over for you this is where life ends you I don't I think there's even one written you should have listened to your part my god I was just like oh my god oh my gosh so anyway so obviously I'm picking out if you've never been to a cell there's a very minimal ours had a very minimal space for like looking outside like a smoky thing i think it's for if you want to call and then the other place is um on the wall there's a grill grill window that's very high up the didn't help much it's basically like a closed room you guys that place is not for anybody anybody and then it smells oh my gosh it smells it smells it smells anyway so i wake up and um, i'm given a chance to make a call you guys we went in on a friday um so now it's saturday there's no court obviously on that day now i'm still holding hope that obviously i'm going to bribe something is going to happen will just come out you know i've had so many people with countless stories oh nilishi kwa jana alafu asubui niliachiliwa Anyway, I, mean, I just feel like God uses situations in our lives to teach us lessons. But sometimes we don't learn. We don't learn. We don't learn. We just want to continue on that path. Anyway, so um, they give us a chance to make a call the next day. This is Saturday. Um, the guy I was with, obviously he makes a call to his parents. So his parents come in the course of the day. Me, I decided not to call my parents. Him, his parents were American. My parents was African, okay? Like, I was not just about to call them. I was, first of all, I was timing it to see whether tuta achiliwa, ama tuta achiliwa, tuta achiliwa. So I was like playing it. Cause if, if things went really well, really well by my book, then I would be able to come out and no one would know anything. So him, he called immediately and his parents were there with pizza and, and stuff and just like, oh my God. They even brought him a mattress. Bruh. Me, I was like, hey, taletewa ugali mechomeka tachanga. Anyway, so I called a friend. Um, after calling this friend, this friend gave me hope. Don't worry, they're gonna let you go. Don't worry, sis, hold on. Chukua maji, kunywa maji, ungelesha officer vizuri, nini 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 nini. So I'm like, okay, so I'm there to the officer on a job. I don't know. You know, the worst thing is that the night before when you, I was drunk, when we were drunk, getting admitted into the the cell, I was like, you were, I was just speaking, speaking, bubbling, bubbling. I said, yeah, I think we had spoken so much. Oh my gosh. Now I'm telling you, 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 i am telling you 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 i um we stayed there and i noticed the sun was going down the parents of the guy tried to bribe the oh oh he's called ocb ocpd no 
OBD, OC, OCPD, ODB, no. OCS! <laughs> Yeah, the parents tried to bribe the OCS being American and everything, but he was not budging. I feel like he wanted to just make an example of us. Like he was, and especially because this guy was American, they were like, he wanted them us to learn a lesson or other young people to learn a lesson from us. Anyway, so we ended up staying Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday, you guys. Let me tell you, by that time I had not called my parents. I was like, show, sure, I have not called. Kwanza, the more time is going, the worse it. Because now I'll get in trouble for doing the drugs. I'll get in trouble for going to, 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 to the cell. I'll get in trouble for the time taken to call them, to tell them that I'm in the cell. I, like, it was just, you know how things are piling, on piling, on piling, on piling, on piling. God, pa mm -mm. Anyway, Monday morning comes guys and we are taken to court this is millimani law court now at the time we were 17 years old so we were being tried as juvenile um my lawyer in the end because yeah anyway i was told that um had i been 18 and above this would have stayed in my record for life but god is so merciful that when i turned 18 shoo, it was like a clean slate anyway so at 17 we were in the juvenile court on Monday, the guy, the guy's parents had come with lawyers, with I, with one lawyer, and me, I was there, just me by myself. We were transported early. You usually go to court early, early, early in the morning at like six in the morning. Our case was not heard, so our case was heard on Tuesday. This is so we've stayed um, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, um, Monday night. So Monday night, we come back. We come back to um we come back to the cell. That Monday, nearly piggy was as you I say that's a kama watani chapa. Nam shibi nakaje. I'm not going to rot in this place. So um yeah, I called my parents and the next day they came to um to what is this called to milimani law court because now we came the next day we were tried so me my lawyer advised me to plead the sun is going down guys but it's well um me my lawyer um advised me to plead guilty and so did his so now guess what we are tried and everything actually we're not tried so we 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 start the process of i don't even know what it's called but we start the hearing or whatever and the judge says that we need to be taken to Madare, the both of us me and him so that we can confirm that we are under 18 mind you we had passport we had birth certificate but he was like no we must go to Madare hospital or Madare i don't even like to call it mental but Madare we had to go to Madare in order to um get uh what is it called there's a way they check your teeth and this checking of your teeth, it confirms whether you're under 18 or something. I don't know how they, I don't know what it was again. I think it's a molar or something. If you know, please comment down below and say what they usually check. We went on the same day and then the next day we were taken to court. Now we did the whole pleading and all of that stuff. So me, I ple pleaded guilty. He pleaded guilty. And the verdict was either we pay a 30,000 fine, okay, for me personally, either pay a 30,000 fine or, um, or what? Pay a 30,000 fine or go to rehab for three months. Um, him, he was, I think he was deported, I don't know. But let me also tell you something, guys, our love was not strong enough <laughs> to go, you know, in the beginning we were born and gliding it. Oh, seize, seize. Please. <laughs> just look back at stuff like that situations that happened earlier on in my life even before like addiction and all of this stuff that were just signs from god or god trying to like steer me and yet in my own rebellion in my own foolishness in my own trying to be wise in my own eyes i still chose to 
relentlessly follow a path that was leading to destruction because obviously after that even after my parents paid the 30,000 fine I left and I continued like life was normal and the more I came away from the experience of being six nights in the holding cell and this whole fiasco the more I forgot about it so I'm like ah oh, it wasn't even so bad it wasn't even so bad anyway um that is a story I will never ever forget and and I just look back at situations like that and wish that I had seen the red lights stopped turned around you know like just try to do life differently but anyway all things work together for good I am here speaking to you guys today um so guys if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe comment share 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 even on Instagram tag me so that I know you guys are watching and yeah i love you all until next time bye